Good luck on your Pokemon journey. Gotta watch them all. Poke Collection episodes, that is. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Poke Collection and the continuation of my Pokemon 25 coverage celebrations, which are still carrying on. Obviously, we're going into the 26th year now of Pokemon, and uh, the Pokemon 25 celebration was all over the place in terms of releases getting up to us, especially in New Zealand and Australia. Um, so, a lot of our coverage is very late. But I was super stoked to finally get hold of the uh, the, the Celebrations Mini Tins, which feature pretty much every single generation in eight tins, which is a perfect design tin as well. It's just so cute to have all the starter Pokemon or the first partner Pokemon um, from each generation. And it was just nice to have eight, exactly eight generations so they could fit this perfectly in an in a, in a eight tin set so i've got the whole thing here including the display which i love and i'm gonna keep um but the tins are so cool i don't have any use for the tins but i just love them just because they're so nice and compact uh but anyway so in this we've got yeah eight tins one for each generation um and i've got some more pictures on my um, facebook page if you want to go check out the photo album album section um and within each i believe there's two celebrations packs and one general booster pack from um i think the sword and shield series so uh let's see how we go so let's open this up just cut it on the side there so you can easily get into it but surprisingly a lot easier than normal I love a good display. I just love having, I just love having them there. It's just, not, I know they're made, made for like, uh, you know, stores and stuff. But I just love, love opening it. All right, let's open it, guys. Beautiful. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So let's check out each tin, right? So of course, like all the other mini tins that have come out over the years. Um, they they generally can connect up and create artwork that you see in the background, uh, and they also contain art cards, uh, which contain that same artwork that you get on the top, but in card form that you can join together and create a sort of uh, card art there as well. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the Kanto Kanto tin, and I'm going to open them tin by tin just so you guys can keep track of the pulls. Um, so yeah, and it's got a coin as well, I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So let's open that. That's a really nice tin. Very shiny. Looking good. And in it, we've got... Oh, a gigantic coin you get in this one. You get the Pokemon 25 coin, which is cool. That is awesome. I'm going to use that for my coin tosses. And then we have the art card that comes with it, which is the first one. Obviously starts like that, and then you'll get all of the other ones as you go in order throughout the generations, and you get the whole artwork, which will be really nice. So I'll put that aside. Maybe I'll look at it later. Okay, and then finally you've got the two packs. So I've got Darkness of Blaze in here, which is cool, and then Celebration. So Darkness of Blaze is a bit of a surprise. Um, but I do still need quite a lot of cards from the set, so um, let's just see how we go. I'm just going to push this to the back now. Okay, so let's... Um, shall, we, shall we open Celebrations first? Let's open Celebrations. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll open all the Celebrations cards for now first, and then what I'll do is at the end of the video, once I've opened all the tins, I'll open all the other booster packs just to see what we get from them. Okay, so we've got Lunala, Cosmog, and a Veltel, and, oh, 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 it's a Cleffer. So we've got a classic card already from the off, which is awesome. I want to get as many classic cards as I can get. Uh, I've completed more or less, I think, the main set already, um, including the Mew. Uh, so I really want to get the classic cards because I'm missing quite a few, like Venusaur, Charizard, um, and just pretty much a lot of like the, le like the level X's and stuff, so I haven't seen them yet. So I really, really hope that this, you know, there's going to be quite a lot of chances here. Um, how many tins have we got? We've got 8 tins, so 16. Um, 16 possibilities, so let's see. Oh gosh. So yeah, I'll do celebrations to begin with for each tin. And then we'll end and wrap the video with all the other packs that we get. Oh, we've got a Zamazenta V already, very cool. And then we've got Dialga, Zekrom, and a Cosmog. So we've got no classic cards in that one. 
Now, if you're worried about me not sleeving them, I am just putting them to the side because otherwise I'll be sleeving them for ages. Okay, so we got the next one. So this is um, the Johto region, Generation 2, featuring Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. So many memories there. Let's open this tin up. We got the nice massive coin, and then we've got the card. Boom, looking really cool there. And let's go the packs out here as well. Start bending them. And we'll push that to the back there as well. Okay, so we've got another Darkness Ablaze. So it looks like we're going to get Darkness Ablaze, quite a bit of an opening of that. Which is cool, because there's Charizards in there. And I say that because, um, only because I want Charizard for my collection not to sell off, because my worry is now always having to complete a set uh, and having an expensive card in order to do that. So I'd rather just get it from a card pack, you know? If I've got them. Anyway, so we've got Solgaleo, Xerneas, a Reshiram, and oh yes, a birthday's Pikachu. Birthday Pikachu, so um, that's another classic card. Now I have gotten that one as well, along with Cleffer, but I do love seeing them all over again. It just takes me back. Okay. Uh, oops. Okay, let's see how we go. So we've got Lanala, Xenias, and a Veltal, and a Venusaur! Yes! Finally, I've got one card. The original trio. Fantastic. That's super cool. So I've got Blastoise and I've got Venusaur, and now I'm just waiting on Charizard. So I am can't wait to complete the trio. That's the main thing. I love that. I have immediately sleeved that, as you can tell. <laughs> There's bias there. Okay, so let's look for the third generation, which is the Hoenn region, which is right here. We've got Mudkip, Trico, and Torchic looking absolutely cute there. Adorable. Eee. Oh my gosh, this, this tin's a... Oh, there we go. Another Gigantor coin. Nice little hot card. And then we've got the two packs again. And more Darkness of Blaze, which I'll put there. Actually kind of looking forward to opening Darkness of Blaze at the end as well. <clears throat> it has been a year since Darkness of Blaze first came out, so... At least when I'm opening this. Okay. So how are you guys finding celebrations? I hope you guys have had some good luck with your pulls as well. Uh, we've got Mew, very cute. Eveltal, Lugia, and a Cosmog. So no classic cards in there. Okay, we've got Lanala, Cosmog, a Reshiram, and... Oh my gosh, a Luxray GL Level X. Now, I think I've actually got this Level X. I've not got the Garchomp one, though, from Supreme Victors. But that's really nice to see. I haven't actually got any of the EX era ones, like the EXs or anything. So that's interesting. It's kind of like indicative of the era I wasn't really around much for. Um, okay, so we've got onto Hoenn region. It's got Chimchar, Turtwig, and Piplup. This is when I first kind of got back into the TCG when the Diamond and Pearl series was going platinum and Rising Rivals came out, which is why this this card is quite, you know, means quite a bit because it reminds me of the beginning of Poker Collection <coughs> where I was surrounded by level X's. The recent sets were like Legends Awakened and uh, Stormfront and all that with the reprints back then. Very cool. So yeah, it's a nice little memory. All right, and we've got Darkness Ablaze again. Cool. All right, so let's check out these packs. I really like these tins. I actually think it's quite... Um, it's a nice kind of way to get hold of some quick packs. I mean, yeah, I think it's kind of nice. Oh, we've got Flying Pikachu VMAX already. Lovely. That looks so cool. I'm going to sleeve that in a sec. ho -Oh, Xerneas, and Groudon. I didn't think there'd be anything else in that. I will sleeve this one because it's quite it's a full-out one, and I don't want to 
Damage it. I think I've got this one, I can't remember. Very nice. Okay, so we've got Lanala, Veltal, Cosmog, and... Ooh, here comes Team Rocket. Another classic card uh, from the Rocket set. Love that. So we're not too far off from... Uh, we're halfway, I think. So we've gone up, we've done fourth generation. So it's on to... Ooh, black and white, isn't it? <clears throat> black and white, I've skipped one there. So we've got Tepig, Oshawa, and Snivy, which was... My first um, main new game as I got in back into the TCG and everything. <coughs> That's a nice card there. Cool. So Darkness Blaze, there you go. <coughs> Actually, this has probably been my most favourite celebrations opening because I feel like there's just more packs. <laughs> is that is that greedy? Oh, I've got beautiful Mew there again, uh, Xerneas, uh, Rashiram, and we've got another Cosmog. So just the regular set stuff there. Which we've got so many of. It's going to be hard for me to complete the the classic set by the looks of it. Ooh, we got a flying Pikachu regular. That's awesome. Um, Palkia, a Veltal, and a Cosmog as well. Very cool. Now I think I don't know which one it was that I needed. That was like the regular version. So I don't know. Okay, right onto X and Y. Sixth gen. Don't know if it's going. To... I'm glad that they've started to reduce the plastic usage. There we go. Okay, so we've got dark displays over here. And then we've got... Um, we've got Sun and Moon and the last one there as well. So I'll put those tins. So six more celebrations packs to go. All right, so we've got Lanala, Veltal, Cosmog, and Lugia. Oh, we've got Professor's Research, ho -Oh. Zekrom and oh there it is Garchomp C level X from Supreme Victors the first main set new new school set that I started collecting when I first started poker collection and this was where Spinder as a mascot was born as well because of this set I remember pulling three of those in a row followed by Garchomp which is just so funny um, oh man that's so cool and I love the new texturing and stuff they've given it and you know what? I could really get used to this sort of silver, <coughs> excuse me, this silver kind of border. I feel like they need to adopt the Japanese border. I think the yellow borders, I think, yeah. The more I think about it, as much as it looks kind of classic, moving on to the silver borders actually might make it look a little bit more deluxe, maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like the red? Do you like the regular border, or do you do you want to change it slightly? So all of these are Darkness Ablaze, so I'm not sure if in your region it'll be the same um, older pack of Darkness Ablaze in the tins, but generally in these sort of repacks they generally have, have the older packs there as well because um, it helps move the older stock, but um, it could be different in your region. Alright, we've got Mew, Groudon, Reshiram and a Kyogre. Okay, I don't actually get much Kyogre. Ooh, we've got a Zamazenta V, Lugia, Xerneas. 
<gasps> Another Blastoise, that's awesome. I've got Venusaur Blastoise in this set. I say another because I've actually got this before, but that's awesome. I'm stoked. Now, I'd love to come out with a Charizard. Can we get that in the last two packs, you reckon? I'd love that. As always, I tend to never get the Charizard, but I'd love to get that in these final two packs of Celebrations. That'll just make this box the perfect box for the trio. Plus the level X's, which are awesome. There's the final art card. Looking cute. It's so funny if the last booster pack was completely different, but no, it's like... Alright, the final two packs of Celebrations, and then we'll move on to Darkness Ablaze to wrap up this video with eight packs of Darkness Ablaze. Alright, let's, let's fingers crossed guys. So, oh! Surfing Pikachu. Now this is the one I needed I think as well, so that's awesome. Very plain looking actually because there's just bubbles there. Let's leave that in a sec. So we've got Kyogre, Xerneas and Groudon as well. Cool, so definitely definitely needed this one as part of the, the main set, so that's cool. I'm glad. Alright, fingers crossed for a magical last pack. Let's hope for the best. Come on, come on. Okay, so we've got Professor Oak's Research, Reshiram, the Cosmorum, and finally, ah, uh, Groudon. So, Charizard continues to evade me, so we'll have to just see how we go with celebrations as I continue to open more celebrations over time. But for now, let's open the eight packs of Darkness Ablaze that we've got here. I hope you guys enjoyed the celebrations, though. Let me know what your favourite Celebrations pool was. Alright, back to normal packs now. So we've got Dugtrio, Ariados, Old PC, Centret, Galarian Daramaka, Grimer, Larvitar, Shelmet, a Vanillish Reverse, and a Hippowdon Rare. Okay, so we've got Simipore. After opening those thin packs, these packs seem super, like, large now. <laughs> With four cards, going from four cards to eleven. Anyway, Rare Fossil, Simi Sage. I hope you guys don't mind just seeing the artwork up here. Glare and Mr. Mime. I like the focus on this, though. Rookie D, Tauros, Snubble, oops, Mareep, a Gotha Rita, Reverse, and, ooh, Draco Zolt. Okay, so we've got Ursaring, Yellhorn, Relicanth. Oh, it's a rare upside down pack! Rookie D, Aaron, Torchic, Galarian Mr. Mime, Fletchling, and a Scavalier, rare reverse, and a Delcatty. Oh uh, well, at least, I mean, I guess <clears throat> upside down packs don't really mean you get anything at all. And so far, just a lot of rares. So, nothing great coming out of Darkness of Blaze just yet. Oh, I say that now, and something is in this pack. <laughs> Steeny, Bird Keeper, I've seen a glimpse. Spike Muth, Centret, Galarian Daramaka, Grimer, Lavatar, Shelmet, Appears Reverse, and. Ooh, it's a Butterfree V! Cool. Oh, well, that's, that's a good one. I don't remember this card, so I don't know if I need it or not. I always forget. Okay. So we have Simipore, Lunatone, Rose, Dino, Electrike, Rookadee, Galarian Mr. Mime, Tauros, a Gothita Reverse, and a Lugia Rare, which I feel like should have been a holo, in all honesty. Okay, so we've got Fletchinda, Zwilus, Pupitar, Mareep, Ducklet, Clink, Grimer, Wimpod, a Morlol Reverse, and a Wigglytuff. 
Well, so far it's really just been mostly just rares from this lot, so that's kind of a bit of a bummer. But I do know these mini tins can give some really exciting pulls sometimes, and I've, I've definitely had that luck here in there, so I'm not going to give up on them. Um, Corvus Squire, Hiding Energy, Fletchinder, Rookie D, Galera Mr. Mime, sorry I keep going off, um, let's do that. Electric, Dino, Persimian, Appears Reverse, and a Muck. Okay, well, only thing we can hope for is last pack magic in this last pack. Okay, oh, and we do have last pack magic. Steeny, Soul Rock, Powerful Energy, Spinarak, Aron, Torchic, ooh, exciting. Galarian Mr. Mime, Fletchling, Gothita Reverse, and finally... Oh, yeah, look at that. Salamence V Full Art. That is a nice way to end. So we've got a Butterfree V and a Salamence V. Not too bad. Otherwise it was just mostly rares from 8 packs. So that's not too bad. Could be better. But I think this was a nice way to end. So I'm not going to complain. Overall, really super stoked with that tin, tin case. Thank you for watching this entire video. It was a long one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite celebrations and darkness of base pulls were. And oh, there go the cards. Um, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care and uh, much love to you all. Bye.